cliche g'day folks and welcome to the next episode of my survival series look at my outfit it's all Christmassy yay okay now I did mention uh, last episode that I had cleared this area out um, away from vidding for the upcoming ah oh, really really <laughs> for the upcoming tower of power that's better I've turned it down a bit so the plan is I'm gonna go uh, really stereotypically with my Tower of Power I'm a big fan of building turrets so this is going to be a turrety area and what I would like to do is have my nether portal in the basement so I'm gonna start digging away a basement area whack my nether portal in and I will come back to you when that is done Okay guys, so as you look around you can see I have built my basement down here. Ultimately what I would like to do for the first floor, just above my head, the ceiling of the basement, is to have the dark oak uh, floor. Parquet would be amazing. Um, but I haven't come across any roofed forests yet. Uh, as you may remember in my rant last episode, that I have gone travelling in all but one direction so far and it's pretty much just a repeat of forest plains and swamp I believe hello sneaky what are you doing I could do with your arrows mister thank you appreciate it did he give me any where are you 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 oh, a bone you know what waste not want not while I'm here let's just quickly carry it up uh, so yes, as I was saying, what I would ultimately like is to have the, the floor of that area to be um, dark oak. But I'm going to meet myself halfway and I'm going to go uh, off on a little adventure to harvest some spruce. Uh, which will be quite pretty, I believe. Okay, so I've just come behind my house. This is the... Um, the start to the extreme hills biome that's just behind my house and I found some spruce here while I was here a second ago and you can see I've got five saplings already this is the thing I just had some zombies come out of a hole so I figured fingers crossed there may be a spawner room down here because that's two zombies in a row if not I might just find some some iron or something which would be cool Slowly, slowly does it. Three zombies. My mouse sensitivity is going nuts at the moment. I'm not sure what's going on there, but now, well, it's not a. There's no spawner room down here, but this will actually be really good. Blow up your mate. Blow up your mate. Ah. Yes, yes, yes. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah, baby. There we go. All right. So I've just well, I've lit, I've lit it up a little bit. What's going on down there? And uh, we'll come back to this area for future fun. So back to the task at hand: getting those saplings, getting enough spruce wood for a floor. For my Tower of Power. Okay guys, as the sun goes down you can see I've planted those saplings. I've got my first floor in and a nice little stairway down to my nether portal room. Oopsie. Hehehe. <laughs> so I have to it was going to go there, clearly not with the stairs. The nether portal is going to go right here. And look at that, just like magic, we have a nether portal. Yippee! Uh, so yes, clearly. Nether portal's in. Uh, I have grabbed some stuff in my inventory. You will see the method behind the madness. So first and foremost, I am going to need a flint and steel. Uh, that of which I will leave over the other side in these chests that I have bought there, as you'll see. I don't know why I have an extra one there, but that's okay. Uh, also, with all of the ghasts, etc., um, I'm going to need an absolute buttload of arrows, so there's that for me. Arrows and arrows. Now I'm going to also need some new weapons. 
um, I think I'll just take some stuff with me but this will be the first time in this series so far that I'm making myself some armor so here we go one two pants and shoes and let's kit out the carrot oh no more Christmas outfit what else is there that was bringing that bringing that that to build with so ghasts don't explode everything food obviously the compass is actually useless so I might even just put the compass in here for when I get back um, and I don't know why I have that flint but I'm not gonna need that either and a one two three BAM looks like it's time for another achievement folks so let's head into the nether I'm excited are you excited I'm slightly excited here we go we need to go deeper achievement earned but no icon oh let me just stretch my legs for a minute make sure everything's copacetic look at that that's actually really convenient that I've uh, I've appeared in this little cavernous area here let's just dump the stuff that I bought I'm not gonna need that was the whole point of bringing it just to keep the stuff there so my flint and steel can go there let's get that down too because I'm gonna need to be doing some of that and you know what I bought the cobble with me so gas didn't explode stuff um, I'm not gonna need it and I don't want to lose that I don't know why I have seeds and I'm just gonna leave half of the arrows here I'm not gonna need to hoe anything or chop down any wood so let's get this organized oh I should have bought more torches that's all right for this first expedition maybe get some quartz because um, I mean heck it's right here it's a shame there's no uh, achievement for that yay but it does get your levels up really quick I don't know if the folks at Mojang realize how quickly they go up am I burning it all in these little mini fires nice 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 okay I won't get it all not now because that's just boring all right it's time to bow let's see if we can actually find anything folks oh I really like this area I've uh, my nether portal spawned in very happy with this okay we'll go up both directions but I'll try this way first running around all right well that was a futile attempt so I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to show you all of that guys just know that I dug all the way up here walked around came to three dead ends and now I'm going back downstairs and I'm gonna dig up the other way so keep your fingers crossed that I actually find something that is useful and uh, if I do I will meet you at the top of this area and we'll have a bit of a wander around shall we and here we go folks okay oh, it's quite open oh. Torch. the trepidation of my first foot into the nether open area Oops. do wish I'd stop pressing the wrong button fingers crossed I press the right one when the gas comes along what's over there lavas too much to ask to come across a nether fortress on my first day maybe maybe hey guys let's just keep placing some torches down so I can find my way back You've probably noticed here I do have my render distance quite short I was experiencing some pretty poopy lag before so I figured better uh, better than uh, lag is a shorter render distance I got a bit of a habit of doing this 
Um, so if you ever play a, uh, a multi survival, that was a bit close for comfort. And you see some of these around, you'll know you'll be close to my, oh hello, to my uh, nether portal. Now is that unloading this or is that some really weird stuff going on over there? Oh, it's just really weird stuff. Okay. Glowstone never goes amiss. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'll be able to decorate with this really nicely. I'm going to have to collect a lot more coal from the overworld, though, because now that I'm starting to get some stacks of netherrack, I'll be uh, smelting them into nether brick and doing the top floors of my Tower of Power. I didn't really want to do them as cobble just yet because I knew I was going to be taking them down and turning them into nether brick. That's why so far I have only done the basement. I'll know which way I came from my little my little lava. Whatever you'd call this thing that I do here. I could quickly turn my render distance up. But I don't want to. Wait. No ghasts. See, we're still pretty high. I did. Uh, I did mention that. I prefer putting my. I'm gonna get that soul sand. I prefer putting my uh, nether portals lower because if you put them up high, you actually get spawned like above um, usually above lava so I like to put mine fairly low but in this instance it hasn't really helped me much is this gravel all gonna fall so I do love the soul sand unlike sand it doesn't stay there but the gravel does if you do that just be careful there's really no might try the other way. And I haven't come across a bad guy yet. I don't consider the zombie pigmen bad guys. They can't help it. They just stand up for their mates. Oh, here we go. Yay! Boom. And strafe. Boom. And strafe. Come on! I pissed it off at least. <laughs> oh! Send back that fireball. Go on. Come on, buddy. You know you want to die. Don't you jump in like... You chicken! Oh. You chickeny, chickeny, chicken. Come back here. I want to smack you in your balls. <gasps> yes! I didn't send the fireball back, but please tell me I got a ghast here for that. That would be a fant- Yeah! What a way to end the series, guys. What a way to end the episode, I should say. The series ain't ending here. All right. <laughs> well, that's going to be it from me uh, for today, because I think that's a brilliant way to end this episode. Um, so, Into the Nether, I got the, uh, I got the achievement for that. I think we'll fly some piggies next week. And... Um, and I got a ghast here. Yay! That'll be first of uh, for my potion making. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. And remember to leave a like, any comments, subscribe if you haven't, and say good day to your neighbour.